For years, the talk of microchipping Americans was only a topic discussed among the tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists, up until recently when a big Wisconsin company decided to take the plunge into this new chilling technology. Astonishingly, quite a few Americans were all too eager to trade their privacy for convenience, where employees can now swipe into their places of employment with a simple flick of the wrist. With this technology now being presented to the masses and technology experts warning that this will soon be a regular part of our society, Congress is now pushing for a mandatory light version of this plan, that's just one chilling step closer to the government having full control of our bodies, and at our bank accounts. Pushing RFID chips on Americans at this point in time would no doubt create a huge pushback, as most Americans are completely against getting such an intrusive device under their skin. Most religious folks would immediately reject such a device, believing that RFID chips are the mark of the beast that's prophetically discussed in the last book of the Bible. But what if there was a way to gradually get people used to the idea? It appears as though that's exactly what's transpiring, as there's a sneaky bill in Congress right now that would make a biometric ID card required for all Americans. No one would be able to buy or sell without it, and everything a person owns and everything about their identity would be contained within this card. What's even more chilling, is that there's currently zero media coverage on this bill, except the websites that mainstream media brands is conspiracy based. But alarmingly, this is happening right underneath our noses. Earlier this month, Rep. Bob Goodlatte, RVA6, introduced H.R.4760, Securing America's Future Act of 2018, a sweeping bill that entails everything from education and the workforce to homeland security to the military. Also, tucked away in this 400-page behemoth of a bill are the details of a new biometric national ID card that could soon be required for everyone. Not surprisingly, there is almost no media coverage on this legislation. H.R. 4760 establishes a mandatory national identification system that requires all Americans to carry a government-approved ID containing biometric features. Without this card, according to the legislation, you will not be able to work in this country. The legislation was drafted under the auspices of providing a legislative solution for the current beneficiaries of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DECA, program. However, as Ron Paul points out, this bill would give DACA recipients a three-year renewable legal status while forcing a biometric national ID card on virtually everyone else. That's right, the statists want to control you, said Paul. Naturally, this bill is wholeheartedly supported by the anti-immigration sect, and has gained 70 co-sponsors already in only a few days. As with most police state-promoting legislation, fear of illegal immigration is being pushed to garner such support. However, as Ron Paul points out, the bill won't just target illegals, it targets everyone, and it will use your most private information to track you. Under the statist's national ID scheme, you'd be forced to carry around your national ID card, tied to this massive database, chock full of biometric identifiers like fingerprints and retina scans, Paul noted. Without this ID, you won't be able to legally hold a job, or likely even open a bank account or even board a plane. Paul said there is a very good chance this bill will become law as the support for it seems overwhelming. He laid out three key factors that are detrimental to the freedom of all Americans. 1. Allow federal bureaucrats to include biometric identification information on the card, potentially including fingerprints, retinal scans, or scans of veins on the back of hands which could easily be used as a tracking device. 2. Be required for all U.S. workers, regardless of place of birth, making it illegal for anyone to hold a job in the United States who doesn't obtain an ID card. 3. Require all employers to purchase an ID scanner to verify the ID cards with the federal government. Every time any citizen applies for a job, the government would know and you can bet it's only a matter of time until ID scans will be required to make even routine purchases, as well. The control freaks in the U.S. government have been trying for years to pass a national ID card law, and it has been successfully resisted every time. This time, however, it appears that the Republicans, 
who used to be vocally opposed to such measures, are now fully on board likely because of the bill's anti-immigration language. As Paul points out, for years now, Statists in both parties have been fighting to ram their radical National ID database scheme into law. In fact, this scheme was a key portion of the infamous failed comprehensive immigration reform bills both parties tried to ram through during the Obama administration. Now, using the momentum behind Trump's tough talk on immigration and border security, I'm afraid the statists believe the best way to finally enact their national ID scheme is by promoting their bill on Capitol Hill as a DECA fix while they sell it to the GOP base as a border security measure. Of course, that's nothing more than a buzzword meant to trick Americans from all over the country into thinking that Congress is going to seal our southern border. But in reality, it means something far different. The security members of both parties in the U.S. House want doesn't target any U.S. border. Instead, it's meant to create an all-out police state within them. The truth is, this is exactly the type of battle that often decides whether a country remains free or continues sliding toward tyranny. Benjamin Franklin once said, those who would give up essential liberty, to purchase a little temporary safety, deserve neither liberty nor safety. That quote often comes up in the context of new technology and concerns about government surveillance. And no one could buy or sell anything without that mark, which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name. Revelation 13:17. What are your thoughts? Do you think this type of device is good idea? Would you ever agree to have an implant underneath your skin? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.